Hey guys, Chef Tom here, and I'm excited to bring you a new series of cooking videos featuring barbecue recipes from the Motor Restaurant and Bar at the Harley-Davidson Museum. Our friends over at Yoder Smokers and Harley-Davidson have teamed up and asked us to create this cool little series in which we take some of the most popular menu items from the Motor Bar and we reproduce them here at ATBBQ, giving them that ATBBQ treatment. So we've taken these tried and true recipes and produced the entire series on our favorite Yoder Smokers cookers. As always, thanks so much for watching and enjoy. Today we're gonna to be cooking up the brisket sandwich from the Motor Restaurant at the Harley Davidson Museum on the Yoder Smokers YS1500S pellet grill. So everybody loves a good brisket sandwich and they're making a really tasty one at the Motor Restaurant at the Harley Davidson Museum. So today we're gonna to take a crack at it. We're gonna make that sandwich. There's nothing over the top. It's pretty simple but made very intentionally with really nice ingredients and it's super tasty. It all starts with the brisket, so let's check this out. So what we have here is a 16 pound prime brisket. We're just gonna trim this up a little bit. I wanna take off some of the hard fat. We're gonna be cooking it whole so we don't have to do a ton of trimming, uh, but we'll start especially with this really hard stuff on top of the point meat. Now, if you're new to brisket, there are two muscles in a whole brisket. There's this point that sits on top and it's gonna come down about like this and it kind of wraps around the back end, forms over the top, and then it meets up with the flat, which is where you typically get your slices out of. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're starting to trim this. The point's got a ton of fat in it, so we don't need to leave a lot on top, but we are gonna leave a little fat cap behind today. We want a little thermal barrier, and especially for that fat to just drip off. As it drips off and hits the, uh, the grates on the smoker, it creates a lot of flavor. I'm not gonna take it all off here though, because we wanna also get a little bite of fat off that slice when we're eating our sandwich. So really it's the excess fat or the hard fat that I'm trying to get rid of right now. And when I say get rid of, I don't mean throw in the trash can. You guys can save this stuff and use it for other cooking applications or for making sausage. So I'm kinda gonna make a clean cut right along the side of the brisket here. This gives us an idea of how thick our, fit, our fat cap is right there. So you can actually see here where these two muscles are gonna meet. Right there, that really fatty stuff is the point. And like I said, it kinda comes down and sits on top of the flat meat right here. So I'm looking to leave a good quarter to half inch of fat on top of the meat. We can come down just a little bit lower here. So this is looking pretty good. We've got that fat, fat cap trimmed down just a bit. And now that that fat cap side is looking good, we're gonna flip it over. So you can get another good look here at these two muscles. This long one right here is the flat, so that's where we get our slices. And then kind of poking over the edge here, that's our point meat, the really fatty stuff. So when you talk about lean or fatty brisket, that's what we're talking about, the difference between those two muscles. So I'm just gonna make sure we don't have any like really thin stuff on the edges here that's gonna burn up. And then we're gonna do a little bit of trimming around some of this fat. So we've got some really hard fat in here we wanna take care of. This stuff's gonna take forever to render out. So we'll go ahead and just cut it out now. And that's a big old piece of fat. There's really not any meat running through the center of it. So when you're trimming a brisket like this, you might be thinking, I'm trimming too much off. But really this stuff, it's great for other purposes. It's just not great for rendering down and eating later. So it'll render eventually, but by taking it off, you're gonna allow your brisket to go just a little bit quicker. And if you leave it on, you're just gonna throw it away later anyway. So another place that we can kind of clean up is this hunk of meat that is in between the point and the flat, and that's also another piece of hard fat. We don't have to take it all the way off, but we can trim some of that out of there. And every brisket's a little bit different. The more you do, the more comfortable you get seeing and making decisions in the moment on what to trim away. But once we get down to the red, we really don't want to go any further. All right, brisket's all trimmed up, so let's get this thing seasoned. So we've mixed up a batch of the Harley-Davidson 
brisket dry rub. Just give it a good mix. A great aroma coming off this already. So I'm just gonna start with a little layer of mustard to use as a binder here. And then we'll give this a generous dusting of that brisket rub. So we let this rub set up on the brisket just a few minutes, three to five minutes until it starts to look moist. You know it's starting to attach to the meat. That way when we flip it over now, we don't lose all that rub. So same thing here. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of mustard. So we'll make sure that we get all of the surfaces covered here, even on the sides. And we can kind of help this along by pressing it rubbing it into the meat. So nice coverage there. We've got a little excess on the board, which is great because we can kind of mop that up with the edges and the sides of the brisket. Now, once again, we just want to make sure that this starts to look a little bit wet on the surface so that we know that this rub has attached to the meat. So we'll give this another five minutes or so to sit before we take it to the smoker. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS1500S pellet grill. We're running hickory pellets at 225 degrees. All right, so brisket's going on the smoker and it's gonna join a couple more here that have already been going for about seven or eight hours already. Now this guy's currently temping at about 165. They're both in that same range. And believe it or not, these are about the same size brisket as the one we just put on, but you can see how they start to shrink down over time. But some good signs here. We've got moisture pockets. We've got some great bark forming. These are well on their way to being tasty briskets. Now the motor restaurant cooks a 14 hour brisket for this sandwich. So you've got plenty of time to go for a ride or kick back and have a cold one. In the meantime, I'm gonna be checking on the internal temperature. Now we've got the probe run into the Yoder so I can check it on my app. We're shooting for about 205 on the internal temperature. So our brisket's been on for about five hours now. I wanna give you just a little peek to see how we're progressing. So we're starting to get some really nice color. You can see those pockets of fat forming on the top. Everything's going according to plan right now and it smells amazing. Well, our two early briskets have reached their target temperature of 205 degrees, so we're ready to pull these off and let them rest. So you can see we've got great coloration on here, nice dark bark. If we wiggle this, you can see it's got just the right jiggle to it. And then as far as the tenderness, very little resistance when we probe. That's exactly what we're looking for. So these are looking really nice. You can see how that fat's rendered out there and just the movement on them, just a little shake and they just jiggle all over. So we wanna give these a little bit of time to cool off. Uh, we need to rest them at least half an hour or so. Uh, really let all those juices redistribute. So in the meantime, we're gonna make some of the onion straws for the brisket sandwich. So we're gonna do some fried onion straws to give this sandwich a nice bit of crunch to it. And the way we wanna do this is we're gonna take this whole onion, we're gonna go halfway through with our knife, all the way down to the bottom, and we'll peel off this outer layer. And then we're just gonna slice these pretty thin right down to the cut. So what we're gonna get out of this, as you can see, is these long onion straws. And that's what we're going to batter and fry. So we're just gonna break these up and then we'll put together our batter. So I say batter, but really this is more of a breading process. We're gonna start with some buttermilk. And then for our dries, we have flour, and more of that brisket rub that we used on the briskets. Mix that together. And we're very simply just going to dunk our onions into the buttermilk, into the flour. We want a light coating on here. We're not gonna go too thick. So grab those out of the flour, shake off that excess, and go right into the hot frying oil. And we're frying at about 375 degrees today. Just canola oil. Using a big Dutch oven like this is great because you don't have to worry about it overflowing. 
So we're just going for a light golden brown. It only takes a couple of minutes to get there. We'll drain off that oil and land them on some paper towels. All right, so we're knocking out the last batch of our onion straws before we put the sandwich together. Well, the briskets are rested, so let's get them sliced up. So essentially gonna come in about where that point meat meets the flat, and we'll just go ahead and cut this thing in half here. Let's get a good cross section. This thing is just dripping with juice. Let's go ahead and separate these so we can slice the lean and fatty separate. So we have our lean meat here, and then back here we've got a little bit of both. You can see where that fat line runs between the two muscles, so we're just gonna peel that away. Oof. Man, this thing smells incredible. All right, so this is all lean meat up here. We can take off some of that excess fat from the top. And then this here, that's our point meat. And again, that line of fat that runs between the two, is pretty thick. So you can see here, that's all fat. We're not getting rid of any meat here. We're just gonna trim off some of that really excessive fat. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the way that the strands are running. So they're going this way, which means we're slicing this way. Take a look at that fatty point meat, just super tender. Look at the dangle on that. I mean, that is ideal. And look at that bark on the outside there. I mean, you can hear it. So we'll cut these in half so they're portioned out for sandwiches. We're gonna do like quarter to half inch slices here for our sandwiches. And man, that is just perfectly tender. Super stoked with how this cook came out today. And I can't wait to taste it. Oh man, just melt in your mouth, tender. Nice juiciness. Bark's got great flavor. Picking up on just that little bit of saltiness detect some cumin and a little celery in there, and I love all of it. Well, we're ready to put this all together, and we're gonna build a plate just like they do it at the Motor Bar and Restaurant at the Harley Museum. So we're gonna start off with our brioche bun, and we're gonna layer in some brisket. Do a little bit of the lean and a little bit of the fatty back and forth here. Get a good six or so ounces on there. We're gonna add just a little bit of this Harley barbecue sauce. So we're piling up those onion straws on top. That's it, top bun. We'll serve that up with a side of fries, pickle spear, a little more barbecue sauce. I'm gonna slice this baby open and get a taste. Mmm. Delicious. That's incredible. I mean, that brisket is so tender. Barbecue sauce is great on there, but man, the crunch of those fried onion straws, that's amazing. The brioche bun is soft. It's all really working together. I don't wanna stop eating this thing. I mean, dang, that bark, 
so much flavor. Great blend of the two cuts, the lean and the fatty. That's a super well-balanced, just all-around fantastic barbecue sandwich. You got to head over to Motor Bar and Restaurant, check out the Harley Davidson Museum, and check out this sandwich. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. We hope you're enjoying this series. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the Harley Davidson playlist right here on our YouTube channel. All Things Barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.